it's a new day and we have already been tinkering a little bit that we haven't shot what we did was we made sure that the uprights and the structure that we built yesterday was square so we kind of shimmed it in certain places and got our screws in place against the wall to make sure that it was sound and solid and it is really good yep. we're really excited solid. about it um, so now what we're going to work on is the other portion of the countertop um, structure. We went to Lowe's this morning and we got a piece of wood that we're really excited about for the actual countertop and we got some cool backsplash stick on tiles that are like a brushed aluminum that we think are pretty cool looking so uh, we're excited to show you all that and see a little bit more progress in the kitchen department today. We have placed two pieces of our one by one because that's the height that we want our countertop so we've started at this portion this is where the handle for the oven goes so we're going to tack these in place and then we can begin to get the rest of the structure together got some embers in my hair there oh i smell burning hair okay we're tacked you should get one of those welding helmets yeah <laughs> I mean, hats. We, we did just buy a welding hat. Where did we? Oh, there we go. Hey. <laughs> I even have a hat on. I don't. I guess it went through the plastic of my hat and then into my hair. Could be all those holes in your hat. Yeah. <laughs> Never said I was smart. Okay, hey, well, guys, we gotta take a break because we were totally out of gas. We're gonna do these uh, four inch one by ones to rise it up to that height that we want the uh, countertop. And then we're gonna do one full length long piece that goes across that takes it up to that height. So we gotta go cut that piece and then weld it in. And oh my goodness, might be ready for the countertop. We do have to get some uprights, however, to go from the floor up back there as well. Clicking along. I've got these pieces tacked in and we've got that top piece and Aaron actually had a really great idea. He's like with this opening we could add another cutting board in there and kind of extend our countertop. So we could have it be one of those deals that slides in like a drawer and then slides out and when he's working right here on the cooktop he could slide this piece out and have more countertop right here. And I thought that was an awesome idea. Yeah that worked. work. Super cool. I think I've been pretty neat. Okay, oh my gosh, we're trying our countertop. We obviously are going to make this less deep, but how's it feel? Feels good. Yeah, it looks good. Sweet. That is awesome. Plus here. Okay. We have our one inch overhang. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> it looks really good. Yeah, that'll work. Check it out. Okay, so this is exactly what we planned for. We wanted the handle to tuck in right here and go right underneath the countertop. This is really great. Okay, so we cut a piece of countertop for behind the stove and it looks really good. We're gonna shim this up just a little bit because <laughs> I had tack welds on the top of here and Aaron ground them down and then it didn't sit level. So <laughs> we got that level. We're going to get those um, all positioned tomorrow and cut and make sure everything's sound there. And we're really excited. 
All in all, it was a really successful day. Look, it sort of looks like a kitchen. That's so cool. I love the window there. Oh, will you grab um, some of the backsplash to show them? Oh, I thought you were going to say the bottle of wine out of there. <laughs> we have wine in the wine cooler. <laughs> Babe, it's Tuesday. Look, this is really cool. So it, it looks like we're going to use about half a sheet for the backsplash. So yeah, it's going to be split in half. We use the two pieces you know, per section of backsplash. Show them, show them. And yeah, and uh, we think it's gonna look pretty dang cool. So about half there. Yeah. Yep. And then, you know, after that, it'll be the charcoal gray wall paneling. Yep. So we're really excited. We think it's gonna look pretty sharp. Awesome day, babe. You did it awesome. We did a lot. We did. We persevered through nervousness about fabricating and <coughs> I, was trying, I was trying to wait sorry <laughs> too much sawdust <laughs> we persevered through nervousness <laughs> we're calling it a night though and uh, it's about seven o'clock so it's time to go cook dinner and eat and uh look forward to tomorrow for more progress see y'all then all right we got my coffee steaming and i've got all the things that i need i'm supposed to Pre-stain, moisturize the wood, stain it, and then polyurethane it. I'm really excited because this wood actually has like little bitty chunks, and I think it's going to be really pretty. It's not just one, you know, piece. It's a bunch of different grains mixed in, so I think that's going to be awesome. So Emily's out there sanding and staining our countertop. What I'm going to do is pull this window frame out so that we can paint it black to match those back there. And we also need to have it out when we put our awesome aluminum sheeting, not here, over here. <laughs> we put the aluminum sheeting on there. Uh, we'll need to put the window frame on there after we get the sheeting in. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm just gonna tape the window in because we don't have two people to hold it in. And then when I get the frame off, we'll probably pull the window all the way out, paint the outside, because uh, the outside of the trailer is going to be charcoal as well. Paint the outside, reseal the window, put it in, and then we should be done with this. And we have all the rest of them to do around the trailer. So, busy day. We're not going to have much time. Um, Finnegan and Newburn are coming over today to work on some things. And so we've got about four hours before we have to quit. But we'll get something done. It'll be fun. We're excited. It's a beautiful day in Texas. taped off we'll just pull these screws out and our frame should come out in our hands cool now that frames out we'll take it outside get it painted up let it dry and then we'll start cutting our sheeting aluminum to put on here which it's gonna be so sick I can't wait to see a piece up This is so dark. Ah! Hey, I think I'm done. I like it. Okay, Aaron bought another cool tool. Yep, found that at Lowe's this morning. It's pretty sweet. It's like the guard on the table saw. It clamps down. And get your measurement perfect and it'll help you make a straight line yep here's how i came to where it's positioned i measured where i needed my cut to be made a mark then i measured how far is my blade from the edge that's an inch and an eight so i set my guard back exactly inch and eight and i can verify it by putting my saw up against it and we can see that it goes right there on my mark Nice. I wanted to cut on plywood because this stuff's really loose and floppy. So we're going to set the depth of our blade so it just barely goes through that aluminum. Because I don't want to cut all the way through this plywood. We want to keep using it multiple times. I'm going to grab a battery and let's start cutting. So I'm sure some of you guys noticed that we're using a wood blade to cut aluminum, which seems really strange, but I learned that from a friend of mine. See, this summer, whenever COVID happened, he was having a really hard time finding help. 
So I went to help him and enjoyed it and learned a lot of good things. And we were cutting quarter inch aluminum beams to build cradles for boats. And the skill saw with the wood blade just cut right through it. And it was amazing. And I, I couldn't believe how clean the cuts were. And so I decided to try it on this and it works really well. So my guard slid there at the end. So I need to tighten that up. It's like a nice clean cut though. Yeah, it does a beautiful job. Aaron's brain muscle is getting lots of exercise right now. And that's not my strongest muscle. <laughs> oh jeez. Cutting out pieces because we have that window right there and the doorway. Template created yeah, buddy. for our corner. Awesome. I'd say that's a pretty darn good cut. Like it? Want to keep cutting? Heck yeah. Looks look great. at the colors. Oh. You did awesome, babe. Thank you. Stuff is so flimsy, it's hard to work with. It's floppy. It's like a floppy disk. I didn't know what you were about to say. I thought you were going to embarrass me. <laughs> floppy disk. Floppy disk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> Not that I would know anything about that. Floppy disk. Because I'm too young, of course. Locked and loaded? Not yet. Let me double check. Try that. If you'll release it, we'll slide it down. Okay. Dude. <laughs> there it is. Now, so we pre drill our holes so we can put screws in it. Okay. Finally have a piece going in. So exciting. So we made some marks as to where we want to trim. We want to see a little bit above the doorway gone and a little bit around these corners. It's always better to go less in the beginning than more. So hopefully we just don't do too much. Let's see if it works. I think it's good. I think it we finally get it? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Okay. Put some glue on it? I think so. Let's mark it over here where to stop gluing. And I guess when we glue it and put it up, we'll hold it up there and get the window ring on. Just use the old screws for now. And before we do that, we have to pull the plastic out from around the window ring. Yeah, I think we should pull the plastic off. That way we're ready to put screws in. Now question, with these screws down here, are these going to mess up where our countertop butts up to the wall since we can't countersink them because of the metal potentially we'll look at it yeah I mean, probably so we might just butt the yeah. countertop up to it there's yeah. a gap but it won't matter because of the yeah, back that, that's what but we should do is use the countertop as the piece that holds it in here not screws i was saying butt the countertop up against the screw heads and there will be a gap from the screw head to the wall but, but it won't matter because cover. of the backsplash. Got it, sorry, I missed that. That's okay, that's what I was thinking. Okay, now let's get some glue on. Okay. Okay. This window frame in. That should be coming back out, but we need it right now to hold things in. Wow, it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Super gorgeous. Wow. It's gonna look so beautiful when this window is black. Mm-hmm. Need to go on Rec Pro and order some of these screws in black. Okay, as instructed, I have sanded my piece down and I will get all this sanding dust off and then go back with a second coat. The instructions say to sand it between coats so that it's nice and smooth. So that guy's got to get sanded now. Alrighty, second coat is on. After we got this piece of metal in, it was just such a beautiful afternoon. It was like 4.30 or 5, and we decided to take a break and go take a sunset flight in our little airplane, our little Cessna 172. We got it back from the AMP mechanic a couple of weeks ago, and we've just had some crazy weather and wind, and today was just perfect, so we couldn't help ourselves. We just went up for a sunset flight and then went and grabbed some dinner, and now it is nighttime. <laughs> But we still have a little bit of gasoline left, so we're gonna install the backsplash. So we do have a little space here from the heads of the screws, but we're pretty stoked because this snugs right up to it, and you don't even see that little gap, and it's gonna look really super pretty. So let's get our first one stuck. The camera and lighting is a little bit funky, but we only have one light. light. Thank you, my love. <laughs> oh man, babe, that looks pretty. I love this brush aluminum look. Yeah, it was it's super great. snazzy. So these are just peel and stick tiles that we got from Lowe's. And I will say, because I hate spending money, they were kind of pricey. They were just under $12 per square. I was kind of like, dang, man. They're kind of proud of those. But I really want them, so. But wait. Oh, son of a. Went a little up. And <laughs> I just popped one off. Why don't you sacrifice one? What do you mean? Just throw one away. No, babe. I just talked about how dang expensive they were. No, but. Oh my gosh, dude. It goes up just the slightest bit. I didn't even push it real good. Push, push it real good. I'm just gonna have to deal. Just let it be misaligned. Uh-uh, that's not gonna work. I don't like it. What, why? Well, cause it goes up and then you're gonna come back down. We will notice that, but. It'll, I'll notice enough to drive me crazy probably cause I'll spend a lot of time there looking at it. <laughs> okay, I'll pull it off. I mean, my heavens. I think we're maybe a little too tired to do the tiles tonight. That last one uh, was a little bit off and we were unhappy with that, so I took it off. We will resume that project on a later date. <laughs> Night, y'all. In the trailer, it's a beautiful morning and Aaron's gonna take a stab at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so intimidating. Scraping that stuff off was such a pain. I ended up actually using brake clean. <laughs> it melted the glue away like nothing. And of course I had been scraping at it angrily for too long and I sprayed brake clean on it and it just like melted away. And I was like, of course, brake clean. Thank you so much. So here it goes. I was gonna say I can get you that. This is what I use. Just have to do it really carefully because it'll separate from the others. Now this adhesive on the back of these tiles does not mess around. Mm -hmm. Y'all think about these brushed aluminum tiles. They're actually like a metal. They're not plasticky and like cheap feeling. They feel like they're solid. It's really cool. 
I love the way they look. I think they look industrial and yet sort of fancy. All right, you stuck it. Okay, it's there. I wish it was down that way more, but. <laughs> it's so hard, like, finding that balance of just accepting mm -hmm. it. Because I didn't see it all done. So we just used the saw to trim this last piece. And look, there is actual like really thin piece of aluminum. Pretty cool. Last piece going on. Far from perfect, perfect from far. <laughs> yeah, it looks good to me. I think it looks bad to the bone. I really like it. I'm excited for the rest of the window frame to be painted black. Mm -hmm. This portion to be finished. This is about the time we're gonna wrap this episode up. We wanted to totally finish the kitchen area out, but we're just not quite ready. We bought the tracks for the drawers um, because we wanna put drawers down here underneath. We're not quite sure though how we wanna do it. I told Darren, let's just wrap this episode here and we can toss it over to you guys for suggestions. How would you build out underneath the kitchen cabinet area? And we've got that propane tank we have to deal with, but it's there and there's still room for storage and it's just really exciting to get some uh, progress on the trailer and see it come together. So it's pretty sweet. We appreciate y'all's love and support as usual. Absolutely. Much to be thankful for y'all. All right, we'll see you next time.